Okay. Yeah, the new content is totally thrown off the th the throughput requirements. It's really hard to judge, and in my experience, uh, ultimately less important because you're now likely to want to do a complete overhaul of your factory in the late game due to how drastically different things will be by then. Yeah, that was what I was. Uh, that was what I was worried about a little bit. I worried is the wrong word, I suppose, but yeah, certainly, certainly something I was uh, I was thinking might be the case. gonna want more of you but now that's everything that we're gonna need for uh i think setting up all of the um belt types and setting up auto production of factories and indeed should be, yeah, everything for the inserters as well. So we've gotten the factory effectively to the point where the factory can automate building more of the factory. Or all of the components needed to build the factory. Speaking of desync, sadly, Factorio lacks the, uh, the ability to truly automate the building of the factory. Um, that remains something you pretty much only really get in games like Desynced. But yeah, there are there are blueprints. Um and like for certain things, especially once you get to like uh you know once you've got like Robo ports and stuff. It makes a lot of sense once you've already designed something to not have to design it again. However, not exactly the most fun, in my opinion. Oops. I'll see. Okay. But yeah, yeah, you can you definitely get to a point where, um, especially like rail lines and stuff, where you might be stamping the same. Like straight section of rail many times in a row. Blueprints are amazing. Absolutely fantastic. But uh, one of the things that I like about desync since it was brought up is you can, from the moment you've got the ability to actually um, code in the game, which is a very, very little time investment. You just need to get basically to the programmable chip. And then once you have that, you can effectively automate everything else of the factory. You can automate the expansion of the factory itself, the, the scouting for resources. Um, one of the things I tend to do is I create a blueprint for a uh, small structure which has a uh, radar and uh, effectively the a constructor bot that will that'll move out in a grid-like pattern just dropping these down such that the radar all overlaps and they're all still part of the same logistics group. And then those buildings will effectively broadcast any resources within their range so that my miners, when when the factory says it needs a, a higher throughput of a certain type of, of material, new mining bots will be produced, which will then look for whichever build, uh, whichever of those kind of scout buildings is broadcasting that it has that within its range. They'll go out there, they'll strip mine the entire area, and then they'll move on and, and so on and so forth. Like the goal with things like desync, that then why I enjoy those kinds of games is the ability to completely automate the factory, full on von Neumann factory. It just slowly builds out. It's n it's never doing anything you know specifically for the detriment of of the the uh the, the native life of the planet let's just say uh but it simply responds to the fact that they get in the way of it continuing to expand more or less what i imagine factorio is kind of like if if factorio factory could be a von Neumann factory i don't think it would have anything against the biters it's just that the biters were making parts of it less efficient and so the biters had to be removed I would love it though if you could use Combinator stuff to um, expand out 
uh, your factory and actually just stamp it down without mods. I, I like doing things wherever possible without mods. Nothing against the mods, of course. Some mods I absolutely adore. But, yeah. Mm, should I bring in another iron line or... Is, uh, should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Uh, I should. need two more long handled inserters doing everything possible without mods fine i'll leave oh i'll no come back i'm sorry it was road train blame road train i mean they didn't make me say it they don't have that kind of authority but you blame them anyway There you go. Ready. There we go. I heard of or played Planet Crafting. Yeah, I actually did a little first taste thing on it a while ago now. How are we doing for power wise? Uh, we're doing fine. Okay. Uh, we could do with expanding out our copper production and our iron smelting, though. Those are definitely things that we should work on. We really don't need to expand that out just yet. I think I'll just leave that as it is until we start seeing that that is a problem. Um, we definitely want to see full belts on this side. So, time for us to move the guns forward. Always should take it from the... Uh, from the inserters first. My bad. The problem down here is that getting everything down as far as this is going to be a pain in the bum. Uh, I will run the smelter stack down a little bit further. But honestly, there is part of me that actually kind of likes... I know this is going to shock some of you. Likes trying to build around the forest rather than simply demolishing it. Especially with trains. Like, I will go out of my way to demolish as little of the forest as I possibly can. If for no other reason than it gives a real sense of speed when the train is going through a forest.
Yeah, I haven't done anything on uh, Planet Crafters recently, and uh, from what I understand, it's come a long way. But yeah, I uh, did cover it quite early when it came out, actually. Very enjoyable game. Sounds so inefficient, but it looks amazing. It's like with roller coasters. You want vertical brakes along your eye line to give you the impression of significantly higher speed than you're actually reaching. It tricks your brain box, you know? Same with forests. When you've got enough, no, like, frame of reference on the outside, it doesn't really feel that you're moving that fast. When you've got nice, strong, vertical lines, gives you a sense of speed. Right, I'm not going to automate more of that now until later. Not meant to go there. There we are. Soon as now, this is likely to start attracting attention from this direction. So let me go ahead and make a couple more of these then. Lacking steel. Uh, sorry, iron. Ah, invisible walls! They hunt me everywhere I go! Ah! Yeah, the factory must grow because we haven't yet woken the biters. This makes perfect sense. The biters are, as yet, unsummoned. Also, I need to cough. Okay. Cough complete. Have I gone back to Pacific Drive in my own time? I have not, actually. Because I always hope that I'm going to go back to it as part of a series. I'm not going to lie. And it might be a very, very faint hope at this point. But I still hope for it. Should I stop using wooden crates? Hmm. I don't know. Using wooden crates just seems like a reason not to use iron crates. Grossly inefficient. I'll use the ones I've got. So, now that we have all this, next on our list of things to do, I'm going to say is... It could either be the inserters, or it could be the belts. Either one. I've got a stupid amount of belts, so I'm going to say inserters. And I'm not going to be automate... Well, maybe I should automate just a tiny little production of burner inserters 
Uh, it might not be the worst idea in the universe. Now, effectively, I'm going to be making this as a bit of a mall. Um, it's not going to be a, a good mall um, because the output isn't going to be organized in, in uh, any real capacity. Um, much like as I've done with Dyson Sphere, where the, the mall was all along the equator and you could just walk down a, a, a long row and just pick things out of off, uh, out of chest as you wanted. I'm, this one's gonna you're gonna have to know where that thing is and go specifically to that part where it's being produced rather than have them delivered out to a nice literal mall but uh, I think I think uh, something along those lines should be okay for now um, with inserters it's gonna be a lot easier um, I would imagine we'll see uh, gonna want power somewhere along here I will want uh, actually I'll bring this down by one in fact maybe I should be able to yeah, I can still connect it there eh, you know what sure let's do that I bring these. Uh, no, I can't bring those two together. Sadly, they have to be apart for what I'm about to do. So I'm going to need a couple of inserters. I know the irony. Uh, this one's going to be making burner inserters. This one will be making long-handed. This one will be making regular. This one will be making fast. There are more that we will want to make later, such as filtered inserters. Uh, bulk inserters, stack inserters. Actually, they just t uh, connect off. So from fast to bulk, from bulk to stack. That works. So that can continue down the chain without any uh, particular other issues. Okay, time to shine iron chests. Uh, however, I absolutely don't need that many. Like, I probably don't even need that many, really, but... Um, we'll limit each one of these to just two. Because it is going to drain my resources making them. I said I forget the difference between bulk and stack. Oh, uh, if we have a look at them, so bulk inserters, I'm going to assume uh are what the, their names have changed because there's no longer a filter inserter. I think all can't all inserters now be filtered. I think that that was the the whole thing. I remember making the joke in uh, Discord when someone was complaining about filtered uh, filter insert is no longer being a thing of the whole you know filter inserters are dead long live filtered inserters um but yeah i, th I think um bulk and stack inserters from before i think simply uh could pick up very large volumes of items and then drop them all down and that's now what bulk inserters are, are but stack inserters I think it now this is this is going into more um territory of like uh I don't know if it's deep 2.0 or it's it's literal space age stuff but I think they literally stack things on top of each other 
I'm not sure if it's similar to the way that Dyson Sphere program does it or not. Oh, Demon Works literally said, stack inserters create Dyson Sphere like stacks. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard something about that. I'm not quite sure how that's going to look like uh, or what it's going to look like in practice, but uh, I'm very, very eager to find out. Very eager to find out. Uh, this one's going to need all three things. Three things. Actually, you're all going to kind of need a lot of random gubbins, aren't you? Mm, okay. That one only needs two. And that's one of the things that this one needs. Yeah, it needs the two items this needs. Sans gears. This one just needs those two. So I basically just need to bring in... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit mucky, but uh, should be okay. So those two need exactly the same. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing this at least this far. Then gears continue right up to here I'm going to rotate that around so it doesn't go any further this one will branch down and across and then this one will branch down and across there we go gives me everything I need so gears have to go on this one couple more of these. These will be some of the last ones that I make in my pocket. Stack Relich. <laughs> really, Mangle Pork? <sighs> what we need is for Mangle Pork to want to make some sort of deal with the Fae and to have their pun privileges revoked as a consequence as part of the deal. That's what we really need. Stack Relich. My goodness. The worst part is that I actually think it's quite funny. <laughs> well done. I don't like that I think it's funny, but I do. Right, so the next one has to be iron. Because I'm finicky about such things. Uh, I need to be further back. This is that. There. And this one needs to be even further back. There. That should, I believe, work. We'll see. Oh wait, that was that was actually okay where it was. There we go. Oh yeah. One more. Here we go. Done. So that's all of our um, inserters taken care of. <sighs> Unfortunately. Oh, oh, wait, no. I uh, needed one more long handed inserter. My bad. Grab the iron. There. 
So that should now... Yeah, perfect. Take care of all that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, red needed plates as well. I completely missed that. What we really need to do, though... Let's get way more throughput down here. I mean... See, the... What I'm doing right now is... Uh, there are other ways I could do it. I could just have a stockpile of iron and, and copper down here rather than having a buffer in the middle. The idea with the buffer, though, is that you can hook it up to uh, uh, a logistics system and kind of have uh, displays of the output, but... Right now, this is actually hurting me more than it's helping me. It pains me, but I'm going to take it away. How? Oh, actually, no. There is one other way of doing it uh, that I I recall trying out to some moderate success in the past. And that is this. But this really does kind of necessitate that this is the only one then that gets the buffer. Which isn't quite what I was going for, I'll be honest. There we go. Oh yeah, we do have the buffer, but now I don't have the lanes for the for plastics or, or um, steel and such. Uh, I can always push that down further out, though. I could have just those lanes over here and likewise have buffer chests for those ones as well. That well, wouldn't be so terrible, I guess. Right, anyway, uh, so that's taking care of that. Next up, we want to take care of the belts. Now, I don't recall... And it's lubricate, lubricant, that's it. What the heck is this? Turbo transport belt. Okay, crafted only on Vulcanus. Right, you. Not something I need to worry about then. Uh, there is a way of setting these up, much the same as setting up the uh, green circuits as well. But let me have a quick look. Where are we? We are actually starting to clip. Uh, biter population now. We're about to clip that one. Okay, that's bad news, bears. Time for us to get a lot more guns and ammo on the way, then. Hmm, actually, the question here how tricky are the bases now? Dare I risk it for a biscuit? I think I'm going to give it a shot. I can always poke my face in, see what they do. Okay. Tiny little base, not too much of a problem. In the distant future, Lawrence Fishbone will comment that they don't know who started the war, but they do know who burnt the sky. Uh, but we know. We, we know deep down, chat. We know who started the war. Alright, okay. Well, that's resolved for now. So what comes next is me grabbing up 50 of each of these. And also me sorting out my inventory.
a little bit. For the time being. I should do. Alright, so, uh, let's get rid of this. Now, to make these, uh, to make the belts, you just need iron and gears, iron and belt, and iron circuitry and belt. So iron and gears can just run along the front. Belt will have to be in the middle. This off to the one side. And then the far side would also bring in electronic circuits. Where do we output to, though, is the question. Um, at the back. Because I do believe that this one simply needs that plus gears. So it replaces the belt with the... Uh, iron plate. Yeah, that, that's that's true for all of them, it seems. Yeah, okay, so that's actually super, super simple. So we'd want something like this. This one would be for the belt. This one would be for you. This one would be for that. And I would want iron running along here. All the way. I would also want gears running along here. However, I do need to account for the fact that I'm going to need to do exactly the same thing further back. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's make this more horizontal from our perspective. So we're going to want, uh, probably iron and gears running along beside. Let me bring this up. How far can I reach with that? Only this far. Uh, then I will probably move it a little bit further, but. Want um, yeah, in the yeah, sure, in the middle is fine. Want two lines, so that works there. This one would be the splitter, because that's going to need the electronic part as well. This one would be regular, and then this last one will be the uh, underground. I'm going to need to make more of those. Right, so this one just requires belts and iron. This one requires iron and gear. This one requires iron and electric. So I only need to take iron as far as this. And gear all the way up to here. That should work fairly easily. Uh... And soon enough, we're going to have these on uh, being automated as well. I'm going to have to bring this back a little bit. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, though. So, gears will run out about that far. Iron will run out about... In fact, I think it goes all the way, doesn't it? Yep. There you go. 
since I'm about to automate these, I won't bother with the copper one just yet. Uh, that should then start produce uh, production there. There. Yeah. And then simply output to the back into a chest. What chest, you might ask? Oh, of course, an iron chest. What other chests are there? Now, this one I want to limit far less. Well, I say far less. Let's actually pull it back to about here. Because I'm going to need more belt than I'm going to need of anything else. But eventually, once I've got the second tier belt, I'll probably limit that further down. Aronk 63. I'm like, it's taking me about five hours for my brain to register. I'm not watching a video and this is live stream. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the future. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> well done though. Five hours, my lord. That has to be a record. We only need to take that one as far as this for now, but later on we will need to take it further. Uh, this needs to be a little bit further out. There we go. Right. There we are. We are now producing all of the different type of belts that we need. Magical. Marvelous. My little one was very confused about watching Avax's new RimWorld playthrough. Now available on YouTube. <laughs> hey, three hand blam. How you doing, buddy? Avax, iron chest can be used to prevent new bugs spawning, said uh, Infern Dragon an hour ago. I, I only just got back to it now. Or rather, I, I, <laughs> I should say, I only got around to an... Uh, reading it out loud now i'm so bad at that by the way chat i read things and i just carry on i process the information and then i it doesn't occur to me that you wouldn't know that i i read it unless i let you know that i've read it i'm so bad you wouldn't think that I, you know I, I i do this whole streaming thing professionally would you uh we definitely want some some power uh, some lighting, rather. Uh, sure. Mm. We'll pop them in here a little bit. There you go. Chat, you can see now. You're no longer blind. Praise be. There is light. Oh, God. There is not enough iron. This has nothing to do with it. Don't even begin to think about saying anything about that glorious, glorious chest. That's the best part of this factory. Still going strong. No reason to change anything there. But you definitely need a bit of a change. Honestly, this is 
awful. So let's just change this up just a little bit. There we go. That should help out a little bit. We still don't okay for copper here. Shockingly. Alright, if we have a look at the pollution map. Uh, we're going to start irritating this bug nest sooner than the others. And maybe it is worth me going and dealing with that. Don't know, but... Yeah, probably. Do I have any bullets with me? I've got some. I'm going to look at setting up some iron soon. Uh, sorry, some steel processing soon. Oh, they got worms. Uh, they tell me the range. my bad actually still all fingers and thumbs of this game unfortunately I might be able to reach the spawner from this side I can oh hush you stop being so annoyed oh, I shouldn't walk in the acid maybe Totally stop walking in the acid, honestly. Okay. Mischief managed. Worms can stay. That's not what I meant to do. Hisht, it's fine. I'm leaving. I tried that um, road train, the Z thing. Yeah, I'm pressing. You you say you say Z. I'm, I'm pressing Z. It's doing nothing. Hopefully, you can hear me clicking on it. Yeah. Well, uh, Having ammo in my hand is... I may as well just hold down shift and left click and stick my entire stack in there. Like it, I thought when you were making... Uh, uh, when you were bigging up the whole Z thing, I thought it was just that was a shortcut. Place ammo into turret, which would have been very useful. But uh, why would I want to put a single magazine of, of ammo into it when I could just put half of the ammo that I'm carrying and, and deal with everything. It just feels like um, it doesn't feel as useful, I guess. I mean, oh, I actually, yeah, no, I, I you know what? Gbird makes a very valid point saying if you're doing multi-turret creep, that would make more sense. I don't tend to creep with that many turrets that it would be an issue or with that little ammo when I'm doing it with multiple turrets that it would be an issue. But no, that that does make that does make sense uh, now that I think about it. Uh, right, so we've gotten all of those done. I could now automate assembling machines, which does make some sense. Uh, now. What do you require? You replace the iron requirement with with uh, steel. 
You still need the, the first component. Hmm. I would say then the right way to do this would be to have them something like this. Pulling from a central chest with the gears and uh, circuits running the bottom with iron and steel running at the top. That seems like it makes more sense to me. Or the most sense, at the very least. All right, so something like that. Then I've got two lanes. And I would want probably something around here. Like so I'm going to have to branch it out regardless what I do. But that there, that there. Eventually, that won't be there for now. Will eventually be useful, but... I am going to want so well you know what since I already know what I'm going to be doing with this I may as well set it up right now so that later on I just need to add the recipe and it'll it's good to go Just like that, though. There we go. Let's have nice symmetry going on there. This one will come in from the side like so. This one will come in a little bit further up. Like that. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Uh, what am I using the most of at a time? Let me have a look. Uh, iron by far and away, then gears, then el uh, electronic circuits. So, fair enough. We'll branch off here, we'll branch off there. should really grab all of these, all of those, all of those. Actually, no, I should probably dump all of that. If I'm perfectly honest, I've got way too much. Uh, there we are. That keeps us going for a long, long, long while. I will need steel eventually. That is not something I need to worry about just yet, though. I really love that. That's so convenient. It is wonderful. Obviously, I haven't gotten to the space age stuff yet. So, you know, it makes sense that I wouldn't really have anything to, to comment on it. But wow, just, just the, the 2.0 tweaks. The quality of life is so good. So fantastically good. Did they really balance bite to pressure at all? I haven't played in a long time and default world always f uh, felt like with proper pruning and maintenance of biters like Avac just did, then the biters were a non-issue. As is, play smart and they're negligible, it could be mostly ignored. I think that's still kind of true. Um, 
as a general, but... All right, well, the iron is... The belt isn't saturated, but it's not getting all the way down here anymore. So I clearly need more... The belt is far from saturated. Oh, wrong way around. Um... Would I even be able to saturate the loop? Uh, unlikely, I think. But for now, we're just going to make a bunch more of these. Run them up this side. Hook them in. As soon as that's gone, then I don't actually need this belt out. Well, not that it's doing a very good job of balancing the belts, but you know what I mean. I uh, won't need that there anymore. Need to drop off these uh, burner drills as well at some point. bit more to the, to the belt it's still going to be slow as molasses though uh, in fact you know what there's no reason why i wasn't doing this before just do that and i'll be much much better still don't believe we're going to be getting use out of all of this though sadly But yeah, the, the Factorio really isn't shy about giving you, giving the player a lot of agency with regards to their world. Um, so the, the, there are many, many settings. Pretty much everything. Actually, no. You know what? Well, that actually did make the difference. Huh. A little bit surprised. But we can make it even better. That said, though, um, we are definitely going to need a lot more in order to uh, get to the point where we're um, doing steel. A separate belt of iron entirely for a separate steel stack, I think. It'll still probably be grossly under under output, but tis what tis for now. For now, tis what tis. If you don't understand where that side comes from, be thankful that your brain is just more resistant than mine is to a lack of symmetry.
Wait. We have been saved. Saved. Amazing. All right, let's uh, drop most of that in there. There you go. I'll do enough. So, next question really for us is... Do I want to... Make steel by just splitting some... Iron plates off the this bus? Or smelt a belt of iron into steel and then bring the steel up. I, I don't think we've got enough iron throughput to really be able to steal a bunch of it. <sighs> steal, but why do I do this to myself? <sighs> so I think it has to be the, uh, the, uh, the double belts. For now, at the very least... So, likely something along the lines of... First, let me fix this. There we go. Uh, likely gonna run this straight down. So, and uh, I'm thinking probably going to have the second setup of iron somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm thinking something like that. I'll need that there, this here. Uh, maybe I should pull this back a bit, actually. Yeah, I should pull it back a little bit. That way the belt will at least align properly. have the tunnel going through there. Okay. That works. Right. At this point, I would want it is in alignment. Nice. One into the next. Certainly not the best looking setup. I, I ground to you. We're effectively, effectively, we have one into this one and then out the other side. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I can't do it that way because I still need to deliver the coal. Hmm. I would need... Yeah, it has to be one tile further over. And coal runs straight down this line. And that gets pulled in in there. That works for electric smelters, but not quite for this. So it would have to be something like that instead. With a long handled inserter pulling the iron out there. And this one grabbing the coal. If 
effectively doing that. Uh, so I would need another branch of coal here. Oops, sorry. How I didn't notice that, I will never know, but there we go. There we go. And then that's my steel line. Alright, before we get to that, though, going to need to get way more iron coming up here. Um, and I think at this point it has to be a separate iron line, realistically speaking. Because even though this is saturated, if I were to be splitting this, I'm not sure that the belts would have enough speed to pull it out there. Being said, maybe it would. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's, let's for science this, shall we? There's a lot of backlog down here, to be fair. Might work okay. Exactly the same on this far side. to put that the wrong way. There you go. All done. Hmm. Ten views for free view. You're not being a... What? My lord. You're not even trying at this point, Bot. And I... I can forgive many things. But lazy AI? No. I refuse. I don't have to forgive it. I won't. You offend me with how how shoddy your AI coding is, my lord. I can give you one free view on the house, a gift from me to you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, there we go. All should be good. Now that'll start producing steel. Uh, obviously, we want to greatly expand this. So now it's just a case of running this further down. Uh, is there any? I think I think there may actually be um, use to uh, using blueprints, even at this stage, as it would allow. I think it like wise stuff up for you a little bit better. Certainly if you're having any combinators, even like having the ghost down and then manually uh, placing the structures uh, is worthwhile. Or at least I believe it so is. Could be wrong about that. Who that looking so dapper right now? Alice, welcome back. Thank you very much for the gift sub. That's incredibly kind of you. Dear out. There we go. We're starting to produce, produce some steel now. And where we want the steel to go is dunk, dunk, about here. Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, right, of course. Yeah, that, that's automatically researched. Nice. See, the beautiful thing is that while some some people in chat are familiar with with uh, with me, I guess you could say, there are those in chat who aren't, and think eventually I'm going to stop using Iron Chest. This is just a bit, and it'll only go so far before I I accept the superiority of Steel Chest. No. No, there, unless there is a mechanical reason for me <laughs> to have to use something other than an iron chest, this is iron chest carry. I accept that I cannot make smart chests out of iron chests. It is a flaw, I feel, but I accept it. Uh, however, there is no reason <laughs> for me to switch over to steel. None whatsoever. There we are. Uh, we now have uh, the steel. I actually really like that system where it just unlocks things as you go. That's super cool. Now then, now then, now then, now then, now then, now then, the question becomes: oh, What are we switching? Oh, what are we going to be produ producing next? I mean, personally, it makes sense for me to just hoover up a bunch of this steel and make the new armor if I can. Which I will be able to soon. Automate science. That's a good call, yeah. Automating science would be a very, very good place to, to be next. Yep, let's make one of these. Also, let's check out the map. Okay, I'm going to start annoying couple of groups down here actually hmm. a little concerned that getting down there it's going to be hard all right we can try time for our upgrade punk very 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 nice looking. Actually, probably want to automate some bullets first. Yeah, we want bullet production. Bullets are required. Also, more trees must die. Oh my lord, so good. <laughs> my eight-year-old son wishes for you to have the Spider-Tron already. Uh, I'm afraid we're a ways from that. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to manage expectations here, but we are nowhere near Spider-Tron levels. Sag, but there we are. Uh, no, I'm going to run this a little bit further up. At least today. need along here is simply iron and all I need along here is the bullets I will have a speedier inserter here and I'll use it and I'll use a, a regular chest for this one it's fine stop stealing me game this is kidnapping Oh, 
Right, how fast does it take? One second crafting time. Uh, should be fine then. I have to go and pick more of these up there. Wow. A little bit shocked. I'll do for now. production. Hey Bubbles, how you doing? Right, how are we doing for power? If more of our factories were running at the same time, we would be doing badly for power. So that is a cue for me to add maybe a bunch more of these. game again. My cat is choosing violence today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Milky Crown. Your cat okay? Just a case of the ultra zoomies or something a little bit more? Oh my lord. Uh, oh, am I actually gonna... Oh, I'm gonna have to go and grab the burner inserters. Should have grabbed some before I came down. My bad. Should give us more power than we know what to do with for a long time. Uh, but yeah, Road Train Swamp is uh, going to start being an issue soon. Come on, come on. There we go. I get five of them at once? What is this madness? Consume speed, two seconds. Effect, 80 physical. Spell time, two hours? That's awful. Okay, well, I, I guess. Uh, also, I'm going to pop bullets on my hot bar for now so that I can quickly pull them out. Right, let's go and grab some of those bullets. Can't return them to your their home. I'm gonna be honest. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, it wasn't quite close enough. I like that though, giving me a little view of what's going down. It's legitimately awesome. But yeah, I kind of knew that that was gonna happen eventually. Uh. 
Those under my hot bar as well. Alright. Also, we very clearly need to expand out our coal mining. Very much need to expand that out, actually. Right, so, almost certainly them. Makes a lot of sense. Let's go and deal with them. Got heavier armor now, so I should be a little bit more resistant to the, uh, the worst of the acid, but we'll see. I so yearn for the ability to rotate my camera. Right. Okay. Never mind that. Kind of annoying. Just trying to place stuff into it. Why did that not work this time? Oh, I was holding shift instead of control. Uh, sorry, I was holding control instead of shift. My bad. Is there a way to mouse wheel through this, out of curiosity? Ultra quadruple root. Can they not shoot over their own buildings, perhaps? That's a bit of an oversight. I feel a shotgun is a is better than a turret. managed it's okay I'm going home now actually I'm probably not going home I probably need to go and deal with these two but if instead of dealing with those uh oh there's a group already heading for my turrets as it happens Let's have a watch when the alert pops up if the alert pops up Did you simply remove them without any further issues? 
I would have thought that this would have shown me pop-ups of that. Looks like there's blood on the ground there. Yeah, I know that. They all turned to fire. Hm. Okay, well, that's good enough. Okay, so uh, what is the consensus on shotgun versus the uh, assault rifle then? Or submachine gun, rather, at this point, with the balance changes that are coming with uh, Space Agent 2.0? This shouldn't be too difficult for me to set up. I can certainly automate red signs at the very least. Uh, green signs will take a little tiny bit more effort, but not a huge load more. Now, question is, do I want to just run this like a bank of power all the way up? Honestly, I could probably afford to branch it off over here at this point shortly so i'm probably gonna do that um it would be one two stuff there so i'd want it a little bit further out than this at the very least about there would be the the point okay so uh do i have factories on here no i don't let's make up oh, let's make that a thing that i do have on here then and let's also go and collect some i should not have allowed that many to be made oh well too late now Right, so the first thing is I want red signs to be made. That simply requires copper and uh, gears. Nice and easy ones. Does it, uh, which one does it require most of? Uh, either one, exactly the same. So no issue there. I'll have gears down here then. Copper up there. My bad. I need that one to go one further out. Uh, so gears would go here. Hmm. Actually, that is kind of awkward. Mm. In fact, yes, yeah, super kind of awkward, actually. So if I want this to branch the right way, oops. Yeah, I would want it like so and yeah i am aware i could uh, just let uh, sorry uh click and drag sort of thing probably do need to get into the habit of doing that uh i think i'm gonna have to bring it across here instead yeah i will not the cleanest, but it'll work. There we go. 
Is there a better way of doing this, though? Is there a cleaner way of doing it? Um... Yes, there is absolutely a cleaner way of doing it. Here we go. So much nicer. Alright, good night, uh, Kian. You have a good one. Actually, that's a very, very good uh, point there, Drop Table. You can also clean up the upper one by putting the iron sheets underneath instead of the copper. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're quite, quite right there. That would make this a lot, a lot cleaner. Because it's the same amount of underground belts anyway. That, that's why I don't use uh, underground belts on both these lanes, because that would be four underground belts in exchange of two. But that was an extra one no matter what so and that looks a hell of a lot nicer to be fair All right there we go and then the simply output up here and then get uh taken off somewhere else where is that somewhere else uh well that that is actually a very good question <sighs> one thing i don't like doing is having is uh, kind of hemming myself in when it comes to this sort of stuff like mall stuff but for now until uh we upgrade this a bit i think it'll be okay this once I prefer not to do that. I, pr I would prefer to run the um, stuff down and then up uh, to where it needs to be used. Uh, in fact, I could probably do that here, realistically. Because I, I really dislike doing this. You've no idea how much I dislike it. Now, how far can I get? I can. Marvellous. Very well, then we shall. Yep. Because I would also like to take care of the green down here as well. Now, green is going to be a little bit more of an issue because I've got to make both of these. Uh, let me have a quick gander. If I place... Uh, I'm going to pop that one there first, but then I'm going to set this one up as green just so I could have a look at it. They're using the same uh, at the same rate. They produce at the same rate. Uh, five second crafting time. Five second crafting time. More or less, actually. <laughs> 